Riggs has a big name. What were you uh, What were you thinking at that moment as you you know you got rocked behind the ear and all of a sudden it's scramble time. You're up to nothing and now you're in trouble. Just you know gather my thoughts real quick. I know I'm in tremendous shape, so I knew I would recover. But you know it's all you know you. I was just trying to get my head together a little bit. You know, I, I, mentally, I was still there. It wasn't like I'm getting knocked out. It was just about me, you know, okay, let me get my legs back. And then, you know, once I did, I was fine. It was the blood running in my eye that gave me the most problem. In the past, I, I know recently it said, you know, good things come to those who wait, especially when it comes to the title shot. Do you, do you feel like you've waited long enough now? Dude, I waited <laughs> more than long enough. I did everything they've asked me. You know, I came in at Fort Taylor. I came in tonight at Fort Joe Riggs. You know, I could understand, you know, Joe Riggs had the title shot before me, so it's only right I fight Joe Riggs. You know, I beat Joe Riggs now, you know, so, you know, the title shot should definitely be, be me right now. You know, I did everything. The case with Zoromskis, we didn't want to fight him because we thought we could get Diaz if we throw that fight off. So we kept saying no to that fight, ho hoping on, D, you know, they go back and make Diaz fight us. But, uh, you know, could, could, uh, it didn't happen. That's the situation, you know. So now that's water under the bridge. I won tonight. Diaz won tonight. So see what happens. Do you know why they didn't book that fight to begin with for this card, you and, you and Diaz? Because Diaz didn't want to fight me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why the only reason I could think. Huh? Is that the word you're hearing? He's actually said that, that he doesn't want to fight you? No, he didn't say that. Yeah. But, you know, the fight was presented three times on the table. We never fought. I signed the contract every time. I, st I came to fight. Five days out, he didn't go to take the drug test and this and that. The next time, the CBS show, we were scheduled to fight. Where's Diaz turned up missing? He was on a milk carton box. More milk carton. Where's Diaz at? You know what I mean? I don't know. So that gives me the impression that he didn't want to fight me. You know, then he's fighting Zerom Zeromskis on this card. I take... You know, Zeromskis is a tough guy, but we don't know. America doesn't know Zeromskis, you know? Yeah. Nobody knows him out here. So in a way, was, was it disappointing to watch him just kick the piss out of Zeromskis when, you know, it's a, kind of just putting off what, what you want? I mean, Zeromskis really didn't provide much of a, a fight against him. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset. I had a great fight tonight. You know, I still was on the card. I still fought. I still fought a name. You know, I'm blessed to be here. I'm healthy. You know, I'm okay. You know, I gotta, just got to heal up a little bit, but... You know, we'll make this fight happen. You know, it's, all it's doing, the longer it waits, the more juicy it gets. So, yeah. you know, the bigger it'll be. You know, the fans want to see it. You know, we'll see it. You know, hopefully one day I'll be on TV and then they can make it more juicier. Hey, Ken said you're ready for a new contract that you've essentially fulfilled the terms. Yep. Are, you, are you happy with Strike Force? Is that where you want to stay for, for the time being? See what happens, man. I mean, you know, my that's why I got my agent. He's a great, great manager. You know, we're going to see what's next. I mean, you know, we're going to sit down probably this week, make some calls, sit down, see what's going on, you know, see what they want to do with me. You know, by all means, I know me and Joe Riggs, we both proved ourselves in the sport. We should not be on an undercard fight, you know, and that fight tonight was great. You know, it was a little more tactical than others, but if, if true fight fans know the sport, they could appreciate that fight. They know we're both trying to set shots up and be tactical. It's a right, it's a southpaw versus a conventional fighter you know so any striker would know okay i know what these guys are doing you know and it was still an exciting fight so i mean at the end of the day man i don't i don't run an organization i don't promote i'm not a manager my job is to come out here and fight and keep racking up these wins and keep putting on shows and yeah you know my time will come man and, you know uh, hard work pays off and i live by that uh, equal deals on the table ufc and strike force what do you choose if Diaz is the first fight on Strike for it? Does you know and, and having sure. to deal with all the stuff? So you're undecided as of now. I mean, you know, I came here for a title shot first off. You know, that didn't happen yet. Everybody knows that. So we, we got to see, man. I mean, you know, I, I got to really sit down, think, and talk to my manager and see what's the best step for me to go. On, you know, I mean, you know, it's not all Strike Force's fault that I didn't fight for the mm -hmm. title. It's not. You know, it's just a whole bunch of things. You know what I mean? So. You know, I've had talks with Coca, and, you know, you know, he's a good guy. I like the organization. They have great fighters, great shows. So, I mean, you know, let's see what happens. I mean, I, I would love to fight for them. So. Is that something you want guaranteed before you re kind of re-up with them? Oh, man.
trust me, I'm, I'm on TV and everything, you know. I'm losing money being on undercards, bro. And I'm not an undercard fighter. You know, or rigs isn't, you know what I mean? So, it's all about, we'll see, man. My job is not to negotiate. That's my manager's job, you know, so we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, I, I, I was going to say, I guess the sticking point in a lot of this, though, is that Strike Force doesn't always have the final decision, that it's showtime. So, I don't know how binding a contract is if they can step in and and uh, do whatever they want, so that's got to go into the mix as well. Yeah. Again, we got to sit down and see, like, you know, weigh all options. You know, the good thing about it right now, I have options. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. You know, I'm gonna just enjoy my victory right now, heal up. We got a couple bruises. You know, it's the hurt business. Yeah. Sometimes you come out pretty, sometimes you don't. And <laughs> I'm in Miami. I love the weather. I'm here till for a week. What more can I say? I'm just. All the hard work's done. I got a great victory tonight. I'm gonna just chill with my friends and family, and you know, we'll see what happens. Get the sunglasses and get the eye fix, right? Yes, sir. That's it. Thanks, man. Thank you.